Hello and welcome here to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks and I am the creative producer here with Makers Gonna Learn. Welcome to our channel. If you are searching this particular problem, I am very excited to get to talk to you about it. Um, so to give you a little bit of information about it, uh, we have lots and lots of questions over in our private Facebook group from members of Makers Gonna Learn as well as other just YouTube viewers here. They are new to cricketing and when they put text in design space and go to weld the text, some of the letters will fill in like the inside of the B's or the inside of the O. So the inner circles or cutouts of text and they want to know why that is. And so I wanna show you exactly why Design Space has this little glitch, uh, what causes it and how you can fix it. Before I show you that, I do wanna invite you to click the link down below and try out our trial membership here with Makers Gonna Learn. It is only $1 to try it out. You get 20 free cut files with that dollar trial membership, and it gives you an idea of what Makers Gonna Learn is about and whether or not it is a good fit for you in your crafting journey. So click the link below, give us a try, and let us know what you think. Over in Design Space, you can see we have a fun text right here. And if we were ready to make this, we would want to select the entire thing and press weld so that it will all cut out together and my letters would not be individual. So when I press weld, you can see my K fills in up here. It is no longer kind of hollowed out like it's supposed to be. I'm gonna show you why it's doing that. And to do that, I'm going to select all of this text and come up to the top and change it from a basic cut to a pin so that you can see the outline of these letters. Now, you can see where the E and this inside K line are touching. When you are placing text like this, you need to make sure that they are not perfect, that lines like this are not perfectly touching. You can see like right here, um, this is overlapping um, and this is, is perfectly aligned. So if I were to take this and just move it down just a little bit so that there is distinction between these two lines and then weld it together, then I have a perfect project. So let me just change this really quick so that you can see it. My K at the top is still hollowed out like it's supposed to be. So that is how you can work around that. Again, I'm gonna show you again. Let's undo this weld here. And again, if I were to even move it down further, that's absolutely fine. I can weld it. And you still see there's this hollowed out, this uh, contoured piece as well. And that is how you avoid this mistake. So again, just make sure that there is some distinction between those two lines. They're not right on top of each other before you weld. And then you will have an absolutely perfectly welded project that you can cut out and create gorgeous products. So there you have it. I hope that answered your questions about this pesky issue in design space and that you are able to avoid this issue in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you click the link below to grab our $1 trial membership, which gives you access to 20 free cut files or fonts from the Makers Gonna Learn website. Thank you so much for watching this. Hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber so that you can get notifications with, for other videos that we post with other issues like this. In addition to the inspirational project videos that we also post, I know that you will love our content here at Makers Gonna Learn and that it will aid you in your crafting journey. We'll see you here another day for another member only video.